All right, all right. You guys asked for it. Here it is. Our special guest of the day is Oprah Winfrey. My name is Dana. I'm a psychic channeling medium, and we are going to dive into the subconscious mind of Oprah Winfrey. All right, all right, all right. Oprah Winfrey. Let's see what's going on here, okay? Let's see what's going on. So, Oprah Winfrey. First card out the box is the devil. First card out the box is the devil. It's an attachment that is a restriction to your growth. As you can see, if you zoom in on this picture right here, this is these are people who are chained to the foot of the devil, okay? And they are doing what this devil is asking them to do of their own free will. They are chained there of their own free will. I asked what the what the root of this card was. Where did it come from? Why is it the first card out? And I got the Hierophant, okay? Commitment. So she has a binding contract with some kind of background entity or force. This binding contract with some kind of entity or force in the background is directly responsible for her success with the King of Wands. The King of Swords. These people, this entity, this background, this devil card is supposed to be protecting her. Okay, It's supposed to be spinning something a story, an image, it's supposed to be protecting her. Nine of Swords in reverse, but it's not. Anxiety, despair, it's not. To the Six of Cups in reverse. Now, Six of Cups in reverse talks about unrealistic. In the upright, it talks about memory, home, family, nostalgia, children. Okay. In the reverse, this talks about unrealistic expectations. Um, it also talks about the flow being a water card. Cups is water in the tarot. The flow of children um, is stopped to the world. The end of a cycle. She is waiting for this whole situation to restart. The Eight of Wands in reverse. Delays, stalling, holding off. And it's not. It's not restarting. It's not restarting at all. Two of Pentacles in reverse. Imbalance in her sense of well-being. What's her sense of well-being? Well, the Queen of Cups and the High Priestess, that's who she sees herself as. She has this, this personal identity um, of kind of mama a little bit. Um, that's creepy. Oh, I'm getting thoughts that I probably can't say on YouTube. Um, mama is her role in all of this. Mama. To the five of pentacles in reverse. And she needs to be able to pick up where she's left off. She needs to come out of the cold to the chariot so she can continue to push the process forward to the tower but it is crumbling it's a shit show it's crumbling she can't push the process forward because the people who are supposed to be doing what it is they're supposed to be doing for her are not doing it just like Diddy just like Jay-Z just like I think anybody else that I read for is celebrity wise there is an entity in the background that all of these people have a contract with. And the contract is, you do what we want, and we will give you what you want. But now that they've done what they are supposed to do, the entity in the background is not speaking up. They're not helping the situation. They're not fixing the situation. They themselves are in self-protection mode. Everything is just hanging at a standstill. 
the world and justice. Okay. Again, she needs this cycle to close out so she can have justice to the Seven of Wands, because right now she's in defense mode. Seven of Wands is someone who is defending themselves. I mean, look at the guy in the picture. He's literally defending himself against a mob. So she feels like she's been left on her own. She is waiting for the justice from the people in the background to save her because she's having to fight off, defend herself. Five of swords in reverse to the ace of cups in reverse. This is letting go of a win at all cost mindset. What's that win at all cost mindset? Well, as long as I do what I'm supposed to do, they're going to do what they've what they're supposed to do. I have been mama in this whole situation, and um, I have done what I'm supposed to do. But now nobody else is doing what they're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. And she's letting go of the mindset that someone's coming to save her. She's having to come to terms with that. Her future is on the line with the Two of Wands. Her future, the Three of Cups, renewal of her fan base, the Two of Cups, the people who adore and love Oprah, the Nine of Wands, resilience, persistence, and the Ten of Swords in reverse, needing to create a new mindset. The Ten of Swords is rooted in betrayal, deception, painful, painful endings. It's about being stabbed in the back. She feels like she has been stabbed in the back. And she is also saying here that to save my future, I need to very quickly change the mindset of the people who keep me famous, which would be any and all of y'all out there who are fans of Oprah. Second row, first card is the alchemist in reverse. This is an inability to manifest. It's also a card about manipulation. Manipulation to the hierophant in reverse. They, these people are not fulfilling their contract, okay? She has fulfilled her contract, but they are not fulfilling their contract. She feels like she has been cheated to the Ten of Wands and left to struggle with this burden on her own. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork, collaboration, the Ace of Swords, a truth. She's waiting for them to spin this whole thing the way that they should be spinning this whole thing, according to Oprah. Knight of Wands in reverse, and they're not. They're not. The Nine of Pentacles in the center of the reading, on her own, by herself, the star, the path, the purpose, renewal, and the Queen of Swords. To the Seven of Cups, wondering why, options, choices, decisions. What she's saying here is that she feels like she's going to have to spin this herself somehow. Mm -hmm. She's all alone in the center of her reading. She's waiting on renewal so she can continue the path and the purpose of the operation to the Queen of Swords. I'm going to ask a question about this Queen of Swords. Tell me one about this Queen of Swords, please. I kid you not, the devil. This King Queen of Swords is the same energy as this King of Swords back here. They are supposed to be protecting her. And now she finds herself all on her own in the center of the reading. Options, choices, decisions, confusion. Very confused with the Seven of Cups to the Eight of Wands in reverse. Why nothing is changing. Because they've had some of this before. They had Weinstein. They had Epstein. 
and the people in the background in these devil cards right here have always controlled the situation but they can't control the situation because they can't whack the person that is the loose cannon so they can't control the situation until they can eliminate the source and they can't get their hands on the source so now everyone is on their own seven of pentacles in reverse this is a lack of success a huge gigantic lack of success to the three of wands and she's waiting she's waiting she's waiting 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 for this whole thing to be taken care of the princess of cups to the knight of swords in reverse she wants to make a statement of somehow to the public but she is being told to shut her mouth to the three of swords and it causes her a lot of grief a lot of grief she wants to do damage control remember she's standing on her own but the people queen of swords right she wants to do damage control but her people with the devil card are saying absolutely fucking not absolutely not you shut your mouth and you be still star renewal the lovers her fan base the queen of pentacles in reverse a fall from grace the four of swords trying to make a plan how to salvage the king of wands her own personal success and her personal success is both her public persona her personal life and what she's got herself knee deep in in this situation the hangman in reverse stuck no forward movement delays stalling to the two of swords in reverse delays and stalling clearing up the crossroads that she's at to the seven of swords betrayal deception she feels so betrayed she feels so betrayed by the institution tell me a little bit more here please about the seven of swords can i have one more on the seven of swords the nine of cups right wishes fulfilled comfort happiness satisfaction the emperor in reverse and the sun in reverse right the emperor in reverse is out of control very very much out of control the emperor in reverse is also someone who is protecting themselves and the sun in reverse talks about not seeing clearly so what she's saying here is that she knows everyone knows that the powers behind the scenes are protecting themselves 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 and only themselves this is big you guys this whole thing is huge let's hope and pray that the federal government doesn't have any weasels that can be sold out let's hope and pray that the white hats the the light the 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 people who win in the end let's hope that they are in charge of all of this because these people who are in the background are really having a hard time controlling this situation most importantly they're having a hard time controlling the situation because they can't get their hands on diddy to shut him up he did that video that audio call right that was recorded and he told his son to contact the producer and let them know that the Netflix movie has a release date. What does that mean? That means he's fixing to spill the beans on everybody. And they can't get their hands on him to stop the train. And everybody that is associated with this is freaking out and laying low. Because they're all depending on the people in the background to control the situation like they always have. But they can't for the first time they can't five of cups and she's filled with grief and regret 
Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Unmet expectations. Can't work on it. Can't work it out. Unmet expectations of the contract that she has with these people. To the magician. Manifestation. Creation. Creating. Sewing a story. Sewing a lie. Ace of Swords that looks like the truth. Mm -hmm. That's what she's waiting on. But it's not happening. Just like Jay-Z. To the Ace of Cups in reverse, Jay-Z and Michelle LeMay. If you guys haven't watched that Michelle LeMay video, it's a, good, it's a good one. It's a good one. And she goes, it's way deeper than all of this superficial Hollywood bullshit where people are playing their role and they're doing what it is that they're supposed to do. Maybe uh, doing what it is that they're supposed to do to be a part of this in order to have the fortune and the fame. And Le Michelle LeMay, she don't give a fuck. You should go watch that video. The Ace of Cups in reverse talks about um, suppressed emotions, repressed emotions. She's trying to control herself. The Empress, this is how she sees herself. The Moon in reverse, and she has been exposed to the Sun. More exposure, more clarity the Wheel of Fortune, a turning point, and the Queen of Wands in reverse, a lack of success. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. She sees herself as the Empress, which in the Tarot, the Empress, as well as the Queen of Pentacles, who is in reverse right here, the Queen of Pentacles, the Empress, the Queen of Cups, the High Priestess, this is all Mama energy mama energy and that is extremely creepy to me okay the role that she sees herself in somehow is motherly i don't know if she's the first line of contact for the funneling of and she just makes everybody feel good and okay. Ooh, I think she's maybe a stopping point. Maybe the first stopping point in the chain of things that go on. But it's very creepy to me that she is insisting that she is motherly. And she doesn't even have children. So, so, so. The Empress, right? This is how she sees herself. The moon in reverse. The moon in reverse is about coming to terms. And she's 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 coming to terms. She's coming to terms with the fact that this whole situation may very well blow up on her. More importantly, the moon is about exposure. And it's clarified by the sun. Exposure, everything being exposed. Look at the child on the pony. Everything being exposed to the Wheel of Fortune. And this is a massive turning point for her. Massive turning point to the Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse is a lack of success. Lack of success, self-doubt. Nine of Swords, right? Anxiety, despair, up at night, rubbing her head. Wondering how this is all going to shake down because they're supposed to be protecting her and nobody's protecting anyone right now. It's all for your own in Hollywood right now. To the Page of Pentacles in reverse, an inability to manifest, an inability to manifest her own success, an inability to manifest more money. The Page of Pentacles being a child, in the card, a young person in the card is also saying that this isn't coming through anymore. To the Four of Cups in reverse, emotional apathy, emotional rejection. She is very, very worried that she will never be able to recoup her reputation with her fan base. Two of Wands in reverse, fear of the unknown, fear of the future. To the Six of Cups in reverse again. And I asked what that was about. And I got the Four of Pentacles in reverse on top of it. And the Three of Wands. Six of Cups in reverse technically is unrealistic expectations. 
It's unresolved issues from the past. It is um, a, a stopping of creation in her present moment. Four of Pentacles in reverse is self-protection. So this all ties back into her self-protection uh, because she had unrealistic expectations that once the funneling stopped, the protection was going to stop. Interesting. And she's waiting in the Three of Wands. She's in self-protection mode and she's waiting. Waiting for what? Judgment. Judgment and the Page of Pentacles. Waiting for the truth to be spun so she can continue in her operations in every aspect and faculty of her life. This woman is on a frozen standstill. Wow. Ten of Wands, burden, struggle, all on her own, all by herself. Seven of Swords in reverse, breaking free from deception to the Eight of Swords in reverse, new perspective. Again, reiterating what she's waiting on is for the, the truth, according to the, the, the powers that be behind all of this, to be spun in a way that vindicates Oprah and keeps her in the good graces of her fan base. To the Ten of Swords. Betrayal, deception. She feels betrayed, very much betrayed, stabbed in the back. The Nine of Cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, satisfaction. Perhaps she's drinking a lot. Perhaps she's doing some drugs. But she just wants her peace to be restored to her life. Two of Swords, because she's at a crossroads. What's the crossroads? Well, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Again, there's more kids in this card, okay? It is emotional deficiency. It's broken home, broken family, broken emotions, broken relationships. This is her emotional state of being, but it also tags on to the stopping of the flow. If you're picking up what I'm putting down there. The Five of Wands in reverse. Five of Wands in reverse is the avoidance of responsibility. To the Two of Cups in reverse, withdrawing herself from anyone and anything that could possibly connect her to any of this ditty stuff. Nine of Swords in reverse, extreme anxiety and despair. The Queen of Wands in reverse and no power, no power at all. She thinks she had power. She did have power when things were trucking right along, but now she has no power. She can't even save herself. She has no power. To the seven of wands in reverse, and she's overwhelmed by it. Completely and totally overwhelmed by it. The king of pentacles in reverse, she is out of control. She is completely and totally out of control and just like anybody else who is used to being able to do whatever it is that they want to do whenever it is that they want to do it being out of control of your own existence is a big deal it's a big deal the prince of wands some inspired momentum some inspired action four of cups in reverse again emotional apathy and judgment in reverse Judgment in reverse is not in her favor. She's very concerned that there is going to be some kind of action taken against her. Very concerned about it. The Princess of Wands, effort, exploration, discovery, and death. An ending, a change, a transformation, and temperance, waiting the King of Wands in reverse, Diddy. What she's saying here is that she is waiting for 
what everybody is waiting for, which is the death card. Temperance, tempering herself, waiting, holding up, being quiet. Princess of Wands, waiting for the action to be taken. Death. King of Wands in reverse. This would be Diddy. She's waiting for what everybody else is waiting for, for him to be taken out. Four of Pentacles in reverse, self-protection mode to strength. And she's trying to be strong. She's trying to be courageous while she waits for the High Priestess in reverse and the Prince of Swords. While she waits for what everybody knows, but no one is saying. While she waits for the death card to be executed in the Prince of Swords. She's waiting for communication that that which is being hidden has taken place. And then everybody can come out of the cold and everybody will just carry on like everybody's always carried on. It's the pivotal turning point. The lovers in reverse, the six of pentacles in reverse. If my people don't love me, I can't create my money. Queen of swords in reverse, salty, angry, 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 salty, angry, angry, salty. To the six of cups in reverse, again, third time that this card is in this this reading tell me again please about this six of cups in reverse unresolved issues from the past flow of emotional fulfillment stopping what what is this about what is this about exactly the three of cups in reverse third party interference absolutely absolutely Third-party interference, stopping the flow. Third-party interference, stopping the flow of the Six of Cups, which represents children. Wow. The Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups is about leaving something behind, walking away from something. And that's what she's done with this whole situation. She has walked away from it. The Princess of Swords. Again, she wants to communicate. She wants to make a statement, chariot in reverse, to the Hierophant. But the people that she has this binding to are telling her to shut her mouth. Do not take any action. Do not go forward. Do not make a statement. Do not defend yourself. Do not participate to the Emperor and the King of Cups. The Hierophant, the Emperor, the King of Cups to the Tower. What they are telling her is we have this under control. You mind your contract. You mind your business. You do what it is that we say that you do. We have this under control, the tower, the crumbling of everything. We are working to keep it from falling. We are working to keep it from affecting everyone. Last card in this spread, Seven of Pentacles, is about reflecting and assessing, taking a step back and looking at the way that she's doing things. To the page of wands in reverse and not making any moves listening to the handlers and not making any moves look seven of swords in reverse till she can be clear of betrayal deception deceit and the fool yeah so she can be cleared so she can go in uh, a different so she can make this right she wants to make this right. She wants to be vindicated of this whole situation. Three of Pentacles, right? 
teamwork, collaboration. She's sitting low. She's waiting for her people to give her the green light. Look, the green light, the Prince of Cups, right? The, uh, a message, the Ace of Wands, that she can continue forward. The Six of Pentacles, so her giving, receiving, and sharing in the prosperity of life can continue. The King of Pentacles, so she can be back in a place of success and control. To the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, talking about um, setbacks. Setbacks to the King of Cups and the Star. They, the contract, the devil cards, the paraffins, the people in the background, are, are she's counting on them to make it right. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, loss. Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success and strength. Interesting. Being strong, being courageous. Uh-huh. Interesting. Extremely, extremely interesting. So this woman is keeping quiet, dipping out, reserving any kind of comments. She wants to talk. She wants to make a comment. She wants to make a comment, but it will only attract attention to the background players if she makes any kind of statement or any kind of comment. And they're telling her to be quiet. I sure hope y'all enjoyed that. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never-ending. You have a purpose, this life experience has meaning, and you are important. Your journey on this planet, in this lifetime, is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.